Hi, I'm Brett, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the out-of-box and setup experience for the NI Compact DAC USB data acquisition system. Now, in the kit, you get the chassis, but you also get a driver kit for the NI DACMX API. Now, in this video, I've already gone ahead and installed my LabVIEW development environment as well as the driver software, so go ahead and do that ahead of time. You also get an AC-DC power supply, power converter. Uh, Compact DAC runs on DC power, but of course to plug it into a wall you need a converter. So let's go ahead and get that installed. I'm going to use the screwdriver that comes with the chassis and just screw down my power supply real quick. And then to the other end of the power supply, I'm going to attach a common PC power cable. Now this is not included with the kit and is sold separately based on geographic region. So I'm going to plug one end into my brick and then the other end into the wall and you'll see the chassis start to boot up with the LED lights. Now moving on to the connection to the PC, included is a USB cable. Now what's special about this USB cable is it actually has a locking thumb screw on it so that when I connect the cable to the chassis I can actually screw down the cable and so now it's, it's resistant to tugs or any kind of shock and vibration that the chassis might uh, be under. And finally, we're going to connect the other end into my computer, which again already has the driver installed. Now if you look at the software that I have open, it's Measurement and Automation Explorer, also known as Max, and this is the configuration utility for all NI DACMX products. You can see that the compact DAC chassis I just plugged in has been automatically detected by the driver and is ready to uh, have a module inserted. Now modules are sold separately. And in this case, in the studio here, I have a thermocouple module. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in to any slot. And notice that the chassis is still powered on because all of the modules are hot swappable, meaning I can add them or remove them at any time. Now the module has already been detected. I'm going to right click on the module, go to test panels. This is going to open up a test panel that will allow me to see the raw voltage of any sensor or connection that I have to the module and the system. In this case, it's a thermocouple, so I expect the output to be on the millivolt range. I'm going to go ahead and click Start and just run a quick test panel. And you can see, indeed, that I have a very small voltage that is coming from the thermocouple. So go ahead and stop that. The system is completely configured and is now ready to program. So for this video, I'm going to really quick open up a LabVIEW VI, and I'm going to go ahead and pull this thermocouple data through my compact DAC system into the LabVIEW development environment. So I'm going to place the DAC Assistant down, and the DAC Assistant is a wizard that installs with the DACMX driver. It allows me to walk through and configure each measurement based on measurement type or module type. In this case, again, it's a thermocouple, so I can select thermocouple. I'm connected to AI channel 0, so I'm going to select channel 0 when the driver gives me that option click on finish and now the driver wants me to select what kind of thermocouple this is and how fast do I want to acquire. Well in this case it's, it's pre-selected properly, it's a type J thermocouple. Um, I do want to change the units because I want to see degrees Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. But other than that everything looks good. In fact if I wanted to I could go ahead and run this task real quick and test my value in scaled engineering units rather than, than raw voltage. Um, 70 degrees Fahrenheit sounds about right for this room so I'm going to go ahead and click on stop and OK. And now LabVIEW is going to take all that code and it's going to build it into the one DAC assistant node on my block diagram, which means all I have to do is provide a way to view it. So I'm going to place a chart on my front panel. I'm going to wire the DAC assistant to the waveform chart so my temperature data will move from the DAC assistant node into the waveform chart. And then so the program continues to run, I'm going to place it in a loop. And so it will actually execute continuously until I click on the start button, stop button. So I'll go ahead and click on run and you can see I'm, I'm acquiring temperature now at the rate of about one hertz which is the default setting for the 9219. And you can see if I take my hand and grasp the thermocouple that the temperature should increase. And it is, it is increasing. So here you see we have out of box startup kit with NI Compact DAC uh, USB data acquisition system. Thank you for watching.